Hi there! This is Scott Nicholson and I'm the Program Director of the MSLIS program here at Syracuse University and I'm here to give you a Spring 2009 update on some of the electives that we have coming. Now there's lots of course choices that you're going to have but what I wanted to do is pick out some of the ones that you might not have been aware of and draw them to your attention. This will be good for both first local students and then distance students. Now first off I wanted to mention the core. If you haven't yet taken 613 which is Library Planning, Marketing and Assessment, now is the time to do that because it's not going to be offered in the summer and it's not going to be offered next fall. It's going to be offered both in distance and local formats and so if you haven't taken that yet you should take that this semester. Also 616 the uh, organization class will be offered an online format only in the spring. Again it will not be offered in the summer and then next fall it will be offered in both local and distance formats. 614 and 618 the management class and the policy class those are going to be offered uh, both this semester, they will be offered this summer, and will be offered um, on an ongoing basis. Now, for the electives. First, I'm going to talk about local electives. So these are ones that are here on campus. Again, if you're a distance student and you want to take a local elective, you can. If you happen to be the one-third of our distance students that are close enough to classes to here, that you could take classes if you want. Come on over. So some of the uh, more technology-focused classes, IST 500 is a web design class on Photoshop and Flash might be useful to you if you're going to be doing that. IST 553 is Information Architecture for Internet Services. So that's also a web creation class, but it's going to be more conceptual, uh, less skill-based, more theoretical, but you're also going to be learning some hands-on stuff along the way. IST 500, Online and Social Media. Uh, we've talked about Web 2.0 and Library 2.0, and this might be a way for you to experience and develop some of those skills a little more strongly. IST 500 Technology is Public Good. Now, that's being taught by Morali Venkatesh, who's a faculty member, not from the library profession, but works with libraries on bringing technology. He's done some neat stuff with wireless technology in libraries. And so, uh, if you're interested in that angle, um, he would give you some interesting perspectives on working on technology as public good, and I'm sure there'll be some discussion of how libraries have, have helped with that. Now, uh, IST 552 is a systems analysis class. If you're going to be going into a library systems department, this would be a good class to take because the skills you learn in syst a systems analysis class will apply to library systems as well as to systems in corporate settings. So that would be a good class to consider. Uh, now, other classes, 585 is knowledge management. And so if you're interested in being more in the knowledge industry, uh, working in a special library setting, for example, uh, this might be a useful skill to you. IST 600, scientific data management. This is a class now we've taught for a couple semesters. Um, it's been funded by a National Science Foundation grant to prepare and really be looking at how do you deal with piles of scientific data. That's something that many libraries are getting engaged with. IST 626 is a course, Business Information, Resources, and Strategic Intelligence. Now, that's going to be taught by our newest professor of practice, Jill Hurstfall, who has done this in the real world. This is going to be taught in three weekends. So even if you're a distance student and you wanted to just come to campus for three weekends, you could take this class. Again, that's IST 626. IST 645, Managing Information Systems Projects. One of the common things we hear from people who talk to us about what they wish they'd taken is project management. And this is going to be a class that will help you with that. IST 659, Data Administration Concepts and Database Management. Databases empower a lot of what libraries do. Now, this is not going to be focusing on uh, research scholarly databases. It's more about how databases are created on a broader scale. But understanding that can help you deal with a lot of issues in libraries. And IST 676, Digital Libraries, that's the first class in the CAS and Digital Libraries. It's a readings class, um, and that's going to be offered locally as well. Now, our distance courses, and again, if you're a local student, you can take distance classes. We're doing uh, two that have been requested by you, IST 502, New Directions in Academic Libraries, and IST 600, New Directions in Public Libraries. We haven't offered um, the Academic Libraries one in some time. It's going to be a librarian at Bird teaching it. And I know her emphasis is in electronic resources. So if you're going to be getting into an academic library and looking at electronic resources, that's going to be a good class to take. Again, there's New Directions in Academic Libraries. New Directions in Public Libraries is taught by one of our alums who has worked in public libraries. And she taught this class this summer and now is teaching it over the full semester. 
Um, IS2, IST552 is the systems analysis course. There will be a distance section of that. IST600, first time we've offered this online, organization and management of archival collections. So this is the archives class. Um, there are several classes focusing on special collections and archives that we're, we're working on, and the archives class is offered now. I know this summer, in an on-campus format, there will be a course on preservation, if you're interested in coming up for that. IST 637, Digital Information Retrieval Services. This is the searching class, and so if you want to get a lot better at searching, take IST 637, and that's going to be an online class. We only offer that once a year in the spring, and again, if, if you, you want to build up your searching chops, that's the class to take. IST 638, Indexing and Abstracting Systems and Services. Now, I'll say, in my library school, back when I was a student, um, the indexing class was actually the most valuable class I took because it taught me how to think about the world and organize it. And it taught me to, I looked at web search tools as indexers. And so getting these skills of indexing and abstracting are useful no matter what area of librarianship you head into. IST 645, the Managing Information Systems Projects, the project management class that's also offered in the digital form or the online form. Um, as is 659, the database administration class. And so those are both online classes you could take. Finally, in the, in the CAS and digital libraries, we're going to be doing an online section of 676 digital libraries and an online section of 677, which is the second class in that series, creating and managing digital assets. We're also going to be offering that class in a one-week format this summer. But if you want it online, you're going to want to take it in spring because it probably won't come online in the fall. And so if you're doing the CIS and digital libraries, you should do 677 either now online or plan to do it this summer in the Summer Institute. So that's just a subset of what's out there. There are some other classes you can go and take a look, but I wanted to briefly draw your attention to some of these classes. And that's about it. So thank you much, and I will talk to you guys later with some summer offerings. Bye-bye.